On September 4, 2020, the Columbia Police Department became aware of a cell phone video posted to social media that captured a small portion of a traffic stop conducted by the Violent Crimes Task Force on September 2, 2020, near Clark Lane and Town Drive. The social media post released a 1 minute and 47 second segment of this interaction. The only context given for the stop was what you see here. The Columbia Police Department and other city leaders received an email from a community member citing numerous concerns with the traffic stop. The various concerns were, why did it take three officers for a signal violation? Why did these officers needlessly escalate the situation? Why did the officers indicate marijuana presence in order to search the car? Why was this woman forcibly handled before her questions were answered? Our department conducted an internal review of the incident based on the concerns expressed above. And we are releasing the complete video along with context to the traffic stop. This release is an effort to correct misinformation that has been disseminated as well as answer questions and concerns raised by the community. First, I would like to address the traffic violation listed on the social media post and in the email. They both listed the initial reason for the traffic stop as a turn signal violation. In fact, the officer observed three different hazardous moving violations. The officer explains to the driver at the beginning of their interaction that he observed a speeding violation, a lane violation, and a stop sign violation. These three violations accounted for 16% of the motor vehicle accidents reported in Missouri in 2019 according to the Missouri State Highway Patrol. This was explained at the beginning of the interaction between the officer and the driver of the stopped vehicle. Second, the question was posed, why were there three officers on the traffic stop? The two initial officers on the traffic stop were riding in the same vehicle at the time of the stop. They are assigned together as part of a two officer unit on the Violent Crime Task Force. The third officer arrives at the traffic stop is a supervisor. The supervisor's responsibility is to observe police interactions in the field, and they regularly show up on calls with officers to observe police interactions. The following clip shows the initial interaction between the officer and the driver. How's it going, man? Hey, so we got, we got a couple issues, okay? So when you're over there on Hereford, I hit 40, that's a 30. You didn't make a complete stop. And as you're going towards that intersection, I don't, it looked like maybe you were racing around or something, but you weren't on your side of the road. You're in the driving in the middle of the road. I can hear you. What'd you say? I, it's a two man, we're a two man car. You, get, you guys have IDs on you? The officer used a communication technique commonly taught to police officers across the country. The technique is ask, tell, make. The same technique is used by parents, coaches, and other authority figures in our community to gain compliance in various situations. The first step is ask. In this stage, the officer is polite and it is designed to give voluntary compliance with a lawful order. The officer asked the driver, do you want to step out and talk to me? The driver responds with a question of, why are we doing this? The officer moved on, moves on to the second step of tell. The officer tells him four more times to exit the vehicle prior to gaining compliance. On each order, the officer escalates tone of voice and is more aggressive in his verbal commands in an effort to gain voluntary compliance and avoid using physical force. Fortunately, in this situation, the officer did not have to move to the last step of the process. The final step is make. 
once a police officer gives a lawful order to a citizen and the citizen refuses to obey the lawful order, the officer is left with two options, engage or disengage. In this step, the officer may use a reasonable amount of force to gain compliance with the lawful order. In an effort to understand this process more clearly, we will view the orders to exit the vehicle given by the officers on this traffic stop. Step out and talk to me. Step out of the car. Why am I stepping out of the vehicle? Huh? Why am I stepping out of the vehicle? Step out of the car. Why am I stepping I will talk to you in a minute. Step out of the car. I'm going to pull you out of the car. In both the email and in the social media post, the claim is made that the officer used an excuse of marijuana particles in the car to justify a search after the request of a consent search of the vehicle was denied. That is not an accurate claim. In fact, at no time does the officer ask for consent to search the vehicle. The officer articulated to the driver that he observed marijuana particles in the floorboard of his vehicle. The driver told the officer he did not have a valid prescription for medical marijuana. The presence of even a small amount of drug particles is considered possession of an illegal substance and provides the officer with probable cause to search the inside of the vehicle. Here you can see an image where there appears to be a green leafy substance on the floorboard of the vehicle. The officers were removing the occupants of the vehicle because they had developed probable cause to search the inside of the vehicle for evidence of possession of a controlled substance. The female passenger began to grab items from inside of the vehicle after being instructed to leave those items inside of the car. This action created a safety issue as officers do not know if any weapons were concealed in the bag. This action also creates an opportunity to hide or conceal illegal contraband as many people hide illegal items inside of their purse and other bags. The female exits the vehicle quickly and begins to walk away after an officer tells her three times to come back. The female stops and is verbally confrontational with the officers when they begin to explain the options to her. Based on the physical and verbal noncompliance exhibited by the female, officers detain her in handcuffs while they conduct their criminal investigation into possession of an illegal uh, Go ahead and leave your purse. Um, this is my purse. I'm not leaving my stuff. Go ahead and leave your purse. You I'm have all right? Huh? Well, step back here. Step back here. I ain't leaving shit. Go ahead and step back over here. Okay. There's two options here, okay? So what's the option? Okay. What? what, what are the... You're going to go in handcuffs, too. But what? Because you're moving around on me when I'm trying to talk to you to let you know oh what's going God. on, okay? In today's world, officers are faced with a very challenging task of protecting and serving the community during uncertain times. The officers on this traffic stop were faced with several unknown risks, including both physical and verbal noncompliance with lawful orders. We encourage our officers to be respectful and to openly communicate with the general public. Through our conversations with community members, we have identified training needs to improve our service delivery. It is important that we as the police communicate our reasoning for actions as we make demands, as long as it's safe and reasonable to do so. In the interest of full transparency, we also will release the full 13-minute version of the primary officer's body-worn camera footage from the traffic stop to this press release. If you have any questions or concerns, please email us at policepio at como.gov.